All right, so previously you installed Postgres on Windows. And remember that we added these two icons. So PG admin, so this is the actual graphical user interface client. And then PSQL, so this is the interactive shell. In this video, let's go ahead and get the database server up and running. So as I mentioned before, the best way for learning any database is by using the actual um, shell command line. Um, and basically that's what we're gonna do throughout this course. So first, let me go ahead and show you how to connect to your database with PSQL. And then I'm gonna show you also how to use PG admin, uh, which is uh, a graphical user interface, which I personally don't use. And you will see that it's, it's not the same. So go ahead and click on this uh, shell. So this um, shortcut, so PSQL. And right here, you can see that it's prompting you to enter a server. So if you were to connect to a remote server, this is where you would add the actual URL. But because we are testing things locally, we will connect to our local server. So go ahead and press enter and this will accept the default. Now by default, Postgres ships with a database called Postgres. So go ahead and also press enter. The port, so the default port for Postgres is 5432. Enter. And then the username is also Postgres. So go ahead and press enter. And now remember that previously we added a password. So this is when we actually use it. So go ahead and use the password that you entered when you configured. So I've added mine. Enter. And there we go. So now you can see that we are connected. So if I close this, so I'm gonna close this and then open that again. And let's say that we want to connect to localhost again. And then let's actually connect to a database that doesn't exist. So let's go ahead and connect to test, for example. So press enter, same port username and then the password if i press enter you see that database test does not exist right so this is all so this is how you connect to your local database so let me go ahead and connect to it one last time and there you go so now i'm inside of this database Finally, let me go ahead and show you also how to connect to your database using PG admin. So this is the graphical user interface client. I'm going to click on this uh, icon. Just give it a second. And there we go. And you can see that on the top left corner, we have a service. So I'm going to open that up. And then we have PostgreSQL 11. So go ahead and click on that. And now you can see that it's prompting us for a password. So enter the same password. And my one was actually password. So obviously you would pick something uh, way, way stronger than this. But my one was pass and then word like that. And I'm going to go ahead and save the password so that I don't have to enter every single time. Now I'll go ahead and press OK. And there we go. So now you are connected. And you can see that we have one database right here. So databases, this is the actual Postgres database, right? So this is the database. And then if I open up Postgres, you can see that there is a lot going on, but don't worry because we're gonna cover some of these things throughout this course. And this is pretty much how you connect to your database using uh, PG admin, which is the graphical user interface client for Windows. So as I said, throughout this course, we're not going to be using any graphical user interface client, but instead we're going to be using this shell, right? So PSQL. And because I'm going to be teaching this course on a Mac computer, the commands that I show you will actually be the exact same thing for Windows, because I'm going to be using PSQL as well. So if you have any questions on getting your server up and running, go ahead and drop me a message. Otherwise, join me in the next video. See ya.